So the first place to start for anyone who wants to be successful, you need to think about your mindset. So let's take a closer look at what that actually means. So I want you to think about what's been holding you back previously. And sometimes this can be fears, fears of failure. And actually, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm actually a failure expert. And I know that sounds really weird, but let me explain that to you. I've failed more than anyone else. Why? Because I've had a dream, I've had a mission, I've had a plan for my life and my work, but actually it's not always been plain sailing. I've had challenges and I've had things that haven't gone well for me, but that's okay because what I've done is I've looked at those experiences and I've reframed them to be useful. And that's the first rule when it comes to mindset, okay? What you need to consider, okay, is how you deal with failure when it happens, because it will, okay? When you understand that, the next stage is to decide that if you're okay with failing, and you know it's gonna happen, and you're comfortable with it, is deciding that you're gonna go on a mission. Any successful individual has a purpose in life. Now then, if you think about a mission as a goal, if you like, or an outcome, it's okay talking about it, but what we've got to do is become more sensory aware of how the mission and the purpose comes to life, okay? So the way we think about our ex external experiences are actually filtered through our sight, sound, feelings, taste, smells. So we've got to bring it to life. So it's okay writing out your mission, but what I want you to do as a first exercise is to think about truly what your passion is and what you want to achieve in your life. And I want you to go away and I want you to write it down and I want you to create it. I want you to draw it out. I want to express yourself. Use loads of adjectives. Cut things out of magazines and papers and put it in a manual or a book and bring it to life and make it really resonate and mean something for you. Because then when it's a multi-sensory experience, something magical happens. You actually connect with it fully and you can actually show your colleagues, show your friends and family because then you've got some sort of connection with them and some responsibility that this is who I am and this is what I want to achieve. So it gives it more drive and more purpose and a more centered orientation. So go away now and spend the next half an hour or maybe even an hour thinking about your mission and what you want to achieve. Okay, so how's the mission looking now? Did you enjoy the experience? I hope you did. It's important that it really does connect with you, your head and your heart. So now you've thought about your mission and you've got it clearly defined. The next element of connecting with your mindset is an important word. Branding. It's all about personal branding. You're an individual. You are unique. Okay. Not many other people think, behave and act like you. You experience the world in a unique way, but you've got to be the right person to go away and achieve this mission. Okay, so what you've got to try and do is establish your personal brand. And what I mean by that is a self-identity, a figure of strength that means this can be achieved. And don't underestimate the individual who's going on the mission, the hero, if you like, to get this purposeful activity completed. So what do we mean by a personal brand? Okay, so there are three elements that I want to talk to you about. The first element is yourself and how you feel about yourself and how it connects with the mission. You've got to buy into you. You've got to have the confidence, the self-esteem and the awareness to know that you can do this. And in the second video, which is about relationships, we'll talk in more detail about that. The third element, sorry, the second element is all about this, having the passion to achieve your mission. Okay? Because as we said earlier, failure will happen. Passionate people who know what they want understand that failure will happen and you've got to get over that. You've got to go around it, underneath it, across it, over it, whatever you want to call it. You have to go through the pain barrier of failure. And when you've got passion, it's a lot easier for individuals. And then the final element is connections. What I want you to do as the next exercise is to think about culture. And I want you to connect with role models. People who you know have potentially achieved something similar. 
So if you want to set up an IT business, think about someone like Steve Jobs. Okay? If you want to be a TV presenter, think about someone like Oprah Winfrey. If you want to be a fantastic sports individual, research Jessica Ennis and Muhammad Ali, whatever it is. But understand their story and connect with it and make it resonate. Because what happens is that when somebody else has done it before, they cut out the opportunity for this to happen too often because they've been there, done it, and they can share their experience. So read biographies, watch those videos, learn all the time from those individuals who've been there and experienced that because they've got the mindset of high achievers. And then the second and third elements around branding are built around passion and connections. So if you're confident now with yourself, you will have a certain level of passion. I don't know anyone who's achieved success and hasn't been passionate about who they are, but what they believe in. And that's got to resonate with other people as well. So when you go out and market yourself and sell yourself, you've got to have a passion about what you stand for. And that means a look and a feel. So go out and research people who think like you do and become like them. And that's not creating a lie or fabricating your identity. It's building a brand that means something to similar minded people. And then the connections. There are people who have tried to achieve what you've achieved and succeeded. Now that's a great learning lesson because they will have failed and they'll tell you how not to fail in biographies, in books, in videos. So why not go out and connect with those individuals? So if you want to set up an IT business, for example, learn about Steve Jobs. He was never successful to start off with. He had some well, many failures, but actually with that passion and that drive, he achieved great success. Think about sporting heroes, Muhammad Ali, Jessica Ennis. If you want to create something in that area, again, research them, go for it, see what they come up with, because you can actually remove some of the fatal errors that they use and become more resourceful yourself. It's a great learning model, simply called role modeling. So the next exercise for you, I want you to create your personal brand next to your mission. What do you stand for? What's your mission statement, if you like? And what would you look like and who would you connect with? And who can you learn from? And go away and research that and add that to the toolkit that you've already started to create. So go away now and spend the next half an hour, an hour, researching those role models and building your personal brand.